sexual orientation is held to be a fundamental right. Someone is attracted, a man is attracted to man, that is considered to be his privacy issue and he can enter into that kind of a sexual activity the way he thinks he gets the maximum satisfaction. You know, that's that, that's not broadly, I, I, my wordings may not be accurate or Malod may be proper also. That's the that Nautet Johan. Look, kindly visualize a situation after five years down the line, based on this very thing, that from the beginning, I am attracted to those persons who are mentioned in the degrees of prohibited relationship. Incest is not uncommon in the world. And world over, incest is prohibited. That I am attracted to my sister. I get, uh, I, I, we are consenting adults. We are entering into uh, activities within the Lord, uh, privacy. And we claim our right of autonomy, our right of choice, and our right of doing something in private domain. Based on that very argument, Marad, I'm posing a question to myself. Can someone not challenge this definition itself? Why this restriction? Who are you to decide with whom? I have my sexual orientation. That I may be a little far-fetched. That would be far-fetched. Far 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 used to reasonable restriction. You can't have we it. used to treat even this as far-fetched. But, you know, Mr. Solicitor, uh, sexual orientation or your autonomy as an individual can never be exercised all aspects of marriage, including the entry into marriage, the the prohibited relationships, the grounds on which marriage can be dissolved, these are all subject to regulation by law. So it may be very far-fetched for anybody to even argue before us that that orientation is so absolute that I can therefore commit an act of incest. No, no court will ever but suppose polygamous, it. polygamous marriage. Get about sanctifying it, even... Somebody can challenge, my lord, the bigamy... Uh, polygamous marriage, that's again governed by personal law, right? It, I mean, on the... On the I'm, I'm not on personal law. I'm saying, my lord, if I say that my choice is polygamy, bigamy, the I mean, state has no right your, to... Your interest. argument perhaps could be more... I would say, if you're leading up to that, one can understand it. But these are universal rules. I think we can all agree that these are universal rules. Now, it, as long as they were not codified, they were accepted. And that was the law, that was the norm. That they had a normative effect. Why did the state get into it? The states thought this as a universal norm. Now, therefore, I think if you're building up and saying there is a state interest in this relationship, one can understand. What if you're driving at that? That this is where the state comes in. But that's my submission. Like, Going like, I, like I think their, their, their position too was conceded that when it comes to age also that there is a state interest. So there is no field which is completely autonomous in that sense. Okay. Even within the marriage uh, bond, there are certain interests of the state which, uh, which are legitimate, let us say. No, that is not in the second limb of my submission is going to be that state has no business to regulate social personal relationships. It is only in exceptional cases where that, the state... That would eat. be also very an extreme statement of law if they have made that statement. No, I'm, I'm, I'm saying something else. Not, I can't even... Not, I, I'll just complete that. State has no business as a proposition to reg to rec regulate any social personal relationship. That statement your lordships are saying is not a, it's an absolute statement. But I am on an extension of that statement that the state can regulate certain relationships if the state feels that it's in legitimate state interest to do so. But of course, Lord, yes. Therefore, marriage was not a regulated uh, social relationship. But the state in its legislative policy wisdom decided that we will regulate and we can regulate only if we recognize and therefore under the Hindu Marriage Act or any other marriage act, we recognized and regulated. It's great to see you here. Thank you for watching our work. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click the bell icon and subscribe to Mojo Story and support independent, robust journalism.